What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are diving into a tutorial style video for you guys or a custom tutorial slash fix up slash whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, this is kind of a reaction to our brand new WWE Championship that we saw last night. The WWE, or I'm sorry, excuse me, the Undisputed Universal WWE World Championship, I think is the name of it. What's the official name of this thing, Bradley? Damn, computer, hurry the hell up. The Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. I cannot believe we have two new world titles, and they both have the damn WWE logo just slapped right in the center of the titties. I mean, good God, man. I don't know which one I like more. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, if you want my reaction to the championship itself, first of all, the the 2014 version of the WWE Championship was, was awesome. I think it's a great placeholder of a championship. Like, I just think it's pretty much, like, the ideal championship. It represents, like, that new era. You got the block logo there. I like the main plate design, the side plates. It's a perfect WWE Championship. It really is, especially in this modern era that we live in. However, we have seen, since it... The inception. It's been, what, nearly a decade now. Since its inception, we have seen so many damn customs and recolorations and edits and photoshopped images of this championship. This new Undisputed Championship that we're going to make today, it's the same damn championship that we've seen on the Community Creations page on 2K that we've seen on many photoshops before. Like, this would be cool if this is how it looked. When the Universal Championship came out, people doing the same thing. And I think that's really what bums me out about this championship. It's not the coloration. I think the coloration is cool. And it would have been a nice, like, update to the regular WWE Championship maybe a few years back. But it's so damn... Um, like, everybody, by this point, like, it, it looks aesthetically fine. Like, it's a cool championship, but it's not what people envision. We're sick of the damn carbon copy of the same damn title, man. We had the red Universal Championship that everybody booed out of the building because it's the exact same title, just with a different color. What if, what if they took the Intercontinental Championship and just slapped American flag over it and called that the United States Championship? You wouldn't accept that, man. So that's what they did with the Universal Championship. You had the red version, then we have the damn Blue Universal Championship, and now they get rid of the Blue Universal title and the main WWE title and give us the damn Undisputed title, which is the same title except you just put gold on the main plate and a little bit of black accents on the W. I just, I mean, Christ, man. Again, I think aesthetically it looks pretty cool and it looks nice on Roman and I think it's a cool championship. I just am so damn sick of the carbon copy bullshit. I want to see a new design, a new creative design. That's what I want to see and that's my two, that's my takes on it. Sorry for the little rant at the beginning. Just want to get that out. You guys can let me know. And don't even get me started on the World Heavyweight title. I think that one has grown on me significantly, but I think they need to shrink down the main WWE. They should have just given us the big gold and replaced the crown on the big gold with the modern WWE logo. Like, take that championship, the main championship, and shrink it down significantly, and that championship would be pretty damn money. And it would just be, not like lifted off, but just engraved into the main plate. Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, man. Today, we are going to make, in figure form, the new Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And if I was Roman, I'd tote all three of them damn W belts around. Christ. Anyways, we have three different options here. We have our Tribal Chief. We have Paul Heyman. Here's my little promo Roman. I think I'm gonna get that thousand that Roman 1000 track jacket but nonetheless, join me here now. We have three different versions of the championship. Now I'm gonna take you through my three different versions here that I'm gonna use as our base and I'm gonna give you all the paint. I'm gonna give you the exact paints I'm gonna use. I'm gonna give you the exact title championship that I use because there's going to be some trial and error, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on each one. Technically, you could probably use any of these three. The first one is the WWE Championship that came with Brock Lesnar in his Ultimate Edition. This is the one with the side plates here. I'm going to give you my reasoning for using each and why you shouldn't use each. So, here's the Brock Lesnar one. Then we have just the main regular WWE Championship here. This is just a main WWE Championship that we have seen multiple times. Since, since Elite 46 Sheamus, we have seen this, this title on multiple figures, but there's that version. Then we have the Elite 95 Big E WWE Championship. And you guys can see this one's a tad different. If you get all three of them up next to each other, you guys can see they all vary in their own ways here. And uh, so what my thinking is, is I'm thinking of going with the Big E one from the Elite 95. Now the reason I'm going with this one is if you guys will notice, there's gold around the red etching and there's gold inside the W. And you're probably thinking, oh, that's pretty genius because if I use one of these championships, I'm going to have to paint inside that W and I don't want 
have to do that. So if I use this one, all I have to do is paint all of the black that is surrounding the W and then go in with my accents. However, if you guys will notice down here on the uh, nameplate where it says Undisputed WWE Champion or Undisputed Champion or whatever the hell the new one says, it's supposed to be black down here. And on these, it is black down there. So I would rather paint this strip right here black instead of trying to paint the insides of this W gold, if that makes sense. So I am going to use the Elite 95 Big E version and I'm going to paint this thing up. And I'm going to be taking the Roman side plates off of this WWE Championship back here that Roman Reigns is holding. And if you guys are wondering how I made that, those side plates, all I did was take the three-pack Roman, I took the side plates off the Blue Universal title, and then painted the blue stripe on the side plate black, and it is a perfect Roman Reigns side plates to put on your WWE version, because it's the same damn title, which we've all, all agreed upon, which we've discussed at nauseum here today. So, initially I thought, okay, well, how cool would it be, instead of it trying to match this gold color that we have on these championships here, what if I just ask acetone the main plate and removed every bit of paint off of these main plates and then just came in with the silver red and black that was necessary that way I wouldn't have to paint the uh, the stuff around the W. Well Brad that would have worked perfectly but the acetone does not remove the paint from the plate. I don't know how, like it's like screen printed on that bitch. You are not getting it off. I wiped it with a towel. I tried acetone. I, I tried clear nail polish. Maybe I just effed it up but it wasn't working for me and then I took a bunch of different golds and silvers and stuff and uh, just kind of experimented with this WWE Championship to kind of give me, you know, the best the best game plan is when you prep. Preparation is how you get anywhere in life. You got to prep for things before they get there, not the day of, you know. Study for the test, work every day so that when you show up, you've already done it a hundred times before. You know what I'm saying? So that is what we're looking at here, man. Let's go through the paints that I'm going to be using. I had a ton of golds over here from different, uh, different brands and stuff off screen, and I have narrowed down the two uh, paints that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using... This folk art enamel, Adam Silver. Adam Silver, that is not what it says. Adam Silver is the NBA commissioner, you dumb farquad. Folk art, enamel silver, sterling. Serum Coat, which is a brand I've promoted heavily here on the channel. Delta Metallic 14 karat gold. Love this paint. It's very cheap at Hobby Lobby. I think this tube cost a dollar or two at the most. For my black and whites, I always use Citadel Air. You can get these at like hobby shops and stuff. This is the best paint that you can use. You have Citadel Air. Air, White Scar, and Citadel Air, Abaddon Black. They honestly sound like their own wrestlers. White Scar and Abaddon Black, put them together. They're the Citadel, Brad. Nonetheless, I use those. And then, for the Red Jewels, because if you guys know, on the new Undisputed Championship and on the other title, the corners are red, and then they have, like, some red down here. So I'm gonna add that to, you know, spruce it up. And then, uh, we'll put the Roman Reigns side plates at the end. But basically, I'm just gonna cue a time lapse of me doing what I need to do, and I'll explain the steps. And then, we will take a look at what our championship looks like. So I'm gonna start off with this, go through all the different processes, Oh, and then for the reds, I'm also using this model color. And then I think after I add the, you know, make the, the you know, the different diamonds or studs or that I need that are red, I'm going to come back with this metallic dazzling red to kind of give it that shimmer like, you know, rubies would on the WWE Championship. So we'll see how that, that goes, you know. We'll, we'll see, you know, if I epically fail, I epically fail. But I think we're going to get it going. I think this is going to be easy money and surely yeah, we'll get this knocked out. But I have so many of this damn WWE Championship, I might paint up a lot of them and then sell them because you know you guys know as well as i do i i'm gonna make a prediction we won't see this well then i guess they don't need a new mold for this championship so i bet we'll get this championship very fast i was gonna say i bet we won't see it until next wrestlemania axis in philadelphia for wrestlemania 40 but now that i'm thinking about it we'll probably see it i don't think it's san diego comic-con but they may be i mean dude all you have to do is recolor the wwe or universal championship it's literally simple as hell i think we'll get the undisputed title very quickly but the world title that Seth Rollins holds, that'll probably be till WrestleMania. Anyways, let's shut the hell up, man. Let's dive into the process. Let's get started and make our WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. All right, guys, so I'm going to jump in with the voiceover here. So I didn't record me painting the white part, but I did go over the black parts with white Citadel Air, the white Scar Citadel Air that I showed you guys earlier. Went over all of the black on the main plate with that first just to kind of give me a base primer sort of coat there. It made the gold coat over the black much easier. If I went in with a straight, you know, with the gold over the black, it probably still would have worked, but I wanted to work in, you know, the white right there so it would go over cleaner, and I felt like it gave me a good base. So I was pretty proud of the final 
final result once I used the white, and it wasn't that much. It was just one layer of white. Maybe could have hit an extra layer, but I didn't want it to look too thickums, you know. I wanted to get in there and establish it, but I'm just, what you're seeing here is me working around the plate, like I said, with the gold paint there. This gold, the Ceramcoat 14 karat gold or 14K gold color worked really well, I thought, especially at the end of the video when you guys can see it in its full capacity, and I'm so glad I didn't have to go in between that W. I think it made it a lot cleaner as well, and the final result isn't actually perfect or anything like that but I think it gets the job done as you guys will see later on in the video there here's a full shot of it pretty much to a T when it's completed with its gold there and I like this after that I did come in with a toothpick which I use for gemstones usually you know you just tap it in the paint and then you come in with full circles it keeps the shape it's really it's much easier to do it with a toothpick rather than doing it with a paintbrush so that's all you're seeing here and then right here I'm coming in with the black for the bottom line there where it does say undisputed champion on the championship this was uh, pretty sloppy, to be honest with you. It wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be, but it got the job done. Like I said, I did have to clean it up a few times, came back with a toothpick. If you guys ever go over the lines or maybe you, you messed up or you know your line got a little bit too thick or you go over something, you can come back with a toothpick and kind of scratch it off any excess paint, and it will get the job done. I've, I do that on pretty much every custom I do, but here's what the championship looked like before we added the final touches, and this is what I did with the, with the, uh, the dots on the main championship. WWE logo. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do last is put on the Roman Reigns side plates and then hit the title with this Mod Podge gloss just to give it that shiny feel. I think the title's turned out pretty good. You know, it's a little bit sloppy in there in the details, but from far away is really what I'm going for. You know, I think from far back you're going to really, like I think it's really going to capture it hopefully. So we will see, but I'm going to switch the side plates and then hit it with this and we should be able to wrap up. So all I'm doing here, guys, is removing the Big E side plates, putting the custom-made Roman Reigns side plates that I made onto the championship to finally complete it, and then I'm hitting it with the gloss matte, or not matte, the gloss Mod Podge, and that really pops. I always put this on my custom championships. It really makes them pop off, and I was pretty proud of the result. All right, man, this took longer than I thought, but we finally have it, the new Universal Undisputed WWE Championship. Still got to get it all down, but like I said, you know, I'm not really... It's it's not perfect in terms of, like, the, the toothpicking detail that I did with the black there. That's kind of a method I've been working on, is trying to get, like, perfect circles and trying to get that, you know, down. And they're more of, like, squares than circles, but, you know, I think that it gets the job done, especially until we get from one from Mattel, and maybe, like, I can get... You know, my boy Dan Turnquist or something to get me a custom championship or work with somebody there. But I still think that it gets the job done here. And, you know, you can just put it on Roman right there. And look at that right there. Boom. There, there. I, I think it gets the job done. That's the whole point of it. I, I think that it's a good placeholder for now for our videos and things of that nature. Figure setups, whatever we're doing here. This is the perfect championship for now. I think it gets the job done. That's what we wanted to accomplish here today. And I wanted to recreate the brand new championship. It was unveiled as of hours ago at the time of recording this. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the championship down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys are going to attempt this. And yeah, do you, do you, are you a fan of the championship? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? I think the gold turned out really well. I think it matches well with the edges and the border. Uh, my only gripe with my specific championship, I think the red also turned out good on the, you know, in the corners of the plate. I think my biggest gripe is just, I don't like how ugly, like I feel like I messed up the black line at the bottom. And then uh, my details on the W aren't the best. But again, you push it back a little bit and I think it blends in nice. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to the patron backers of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys so very much, man. Always appreciate every single one of you so very much. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, definitely go check it out. Link in the description below. But I think that is going to wrap up our tutorial or our sort of just custom showcase of the new Universal Championship or the Undisputed Universal Championship. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never